is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it's your first time here, welcome. So today I'm going to be reviewing the brand Yvette Sports. A lot of you have probably never heard of them and I actually hadn't either until I saw some people starting to do reviews for them and when they reached out to me to do a review, I was intrigued. So Yvette Sports is best known for their high support sports bras. And I know that it is a frustration that I hear all the time from girls with bigger chests that they struggle to find affordable sports bras that are supportive enough to work out in. So we are going to be going over some of their high support sports bras and a couple other items in this video. As always, everything that I talk about will be linked in the description box down below, along with all my personal links, discount codes, and measurements for reference. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. One more thing before we get started, I got a size small in everything in this video. So the first sports bra I'm wearing right now, this is the Shift light racer back sports bra So as you can see, this is a high neck sports bra. It has mesh details along the edges. It has pre-molded cups on the inside so you don't have to worry about removable cup pads. It is a racer back and it also has a hook and eye closure back here with different options. So what I usually do to test out sports bras to see how supportive they are is I will do three things. I will do the bend test where I bend over to see if anything's popping out of the top. I will do some jump jumping jacks, which is like a slower high impact movement, and some high knees, which is a high paced high impact movement. So for this, being a high neck sports bra, the bend test passes with flying colors. I feel very, very locked and loaded doing jumping jacks, and I also feel very, very supported and locked in doing high knees. So this bra definitely passes all three tests with flying colors. This is definitely a high impact sports bra. I would go running in this. I would literally do any type of exercise in this sports bra. I can also tell that the material is moisture wicking. It has more mesh on the inside too. I would say the only thing about this sports bra that I'm like a little bit iffy about is it's a tiny bit see-through. You can see the cup pads through it. I'm sure if you got it in a darker color, it would take care of that problem. White tends to be a toss up because sometimes it will be see-through. But yeah, first sports bra definitely passes. The other thing that I did want to mention is it seems like they have quite an inclusive size range on their website. I'm pretty sure most of the sports bras are available in size small to 5XL and in cup sizes A through F. So for me personally, I am a 32C to D, so I would not consider my chest to be big per se, but it's big enough that low impact sports bras are just a no-go for me most of the time. Like I can wear them, you know, around the house, but like I typically won't work out in a low impact sports bra. I definitely won't do any high impact activity. Like if I'm gonna be jumping around at all or bending down, bending up, I cannot wear low impact sports bras. So even though I don't have the biggest girls in the world, I still do have a need for high impact supportive sports bras. Okay, so up next we have the Power Back sports bra. So this is a v-neck sports bra. It also has preformed cups so you don't have to deal with removable cup pads. It has some mesh details on the front. It has crisscross straps on the back and it has a three clasp hook and eye closure with multiple options for adjustability. All right, so bend test, I would give this like a B. Obviously just looking at me straight on, you can see a little bit of cleavage with this. Nothing with the bend test is going to compare to a high neck sports bra. So when I bend over, there is a little bit of cleavage. I don't like pop out of it or anything, but it's not like super high coverage. So with the jumping jacks, there was definitely a bit of movement. This definitely did not do as well as the first bra. Again, I would probably give it like a B, maybe a B minus for that. And then the same thing with the high knees. I did not feel as supported as the first bra. I personally actually would say that this is a medium support sports bra. The one thing that I would do to fix that issue is I would just make the straps tighter. I feel like I just have a little bit too much room in the straps, which takes away from the support of the sports bra. So yeah, I would say this is a medium support sports bra. I would definitely wear this for other activities, but I don't think this would be my first choice for running or any exercises where I'm like jumping around. Up next, we have the Enfold Zip Front Sports Bra. So 
So first things first, I absolutely love the design of this sports bra. I think it's so cute, so unique. This is a front zip sports bra, which is a great option for people that don't like to take sports bras up over their head. Sometimes it can be very difficult for people with injuries or if you get super, super sweaty during your workout, it can almost be impossible to get your sports bra off. So this is a great alternative if you struggle with that. This sports bra also has preformed cups on the inside so you don't have to deal with removable cup pads and it is a racer back. So the bend test, similar to the last sports bra, you can see a little bit of cleavage when you bend over but you're not like popping out of it at all. So I would give this a B for that. And then for the jumping jacks and the high knees, I felt more supported than the last sports bra but not as supportive as the first sports bra so still the first sports bra reigns supreme i would say this is a high support sports bra it's just a little bit on the lower end of high support the last sports bra i have here is called the flea sports bra So this sports bra has mesh details all around the neckline and around the rib cage under the bust. It also has preformed cups, so again, no removable cup pads. It is a racer back. It also has a mesh detail in the back and a keyhole cutout and a hook and eye closure with multiple clasp options. So with the bend test, this sports bra actually did better than the previous two sports bras, not as well as the first sports bra. And then with the jump jacks and the high knees this actually performed way better than I thought it would I don't know why I think I just figured because of all the mesh and it was kind of like a sexier looking sports bra it wouldn't perform as well but this actually did better than the previous two sports bras again the high neck sports bra the first one I talked about is definitely the front runner the most supportive of all of these but this one definitely comes in second I felt very supportive in both the high knees and the jumping jacks I definitely would wear this on a run I would wear this for any exercise where I'm going to be jumping around a lot doing hit, you know So yeah, I'm surprised but this is probably second place. Okay, now let's talk about the leggings that I've been wearing during this video So these are called the shift light color clash leggings again got these in a size small these are like right in between 7 8 length and crop length the material is a silky smooth moisture wicking material i absolutely love the color block pattern i think it's so fun and so unique the only thing that i would change about these leggings is there is a top seam on the top of the waistband and it is very very tight so i feel like i like spill over the sides a little bit it just makes it a a little bit uncomfortable with that top seam up there. They also do have a drawstring at the top of the leggings as well. So something I've realized recently, I'm not a runner, but since I do not have access to the gym right now because of everything being closed down, I've actually been going on some runs and I have figured out that the top seam actually is very, very helpful for when you're running because it keeps it very tight on your waist so your leggings don't fall down. So for me, when I am lifting weights, I prefer a seamless legging. I'm not super worried about my leggings falling down. As long as they're high rise enough, they typically won't fall down on me. So I actually do now realize that top seams can be useful depending on the type of activity that you're doing. So for me personally, top seams are not something that I really like reach for or go for but I can see how when you're running and you don't want your pants to be falling down when you're running they actually can come in handy okay the last thing I have here is the shift light sweatshirt So I absolutely love this sweatshirt. It's a cropped sweatshirt and it has a drawstring around the waist so you can cinch it in at your waist. Obviously it has a little hood back here and then it has Yvette written across the arms, which like you can't really tell what it says when you're looking unless you're like looking very, very closely. But I love this sweatshirt. I don't know what it is about sweatshirts that have a draw cord at the waist. I love that. I love when a sweatshirt is just like a little bit more oversized, but then you can cinch it in at your waist. Not sure why, but I'm just a sucker for that. The only thing about this sweatshirt is it's a little short in the arms if I like poke my arms out. So personally, I'll probably just wear it like, you know, pulled up like three 
three-quarter length. That's an issue I run into with a lot of different clothing items that are long-sleeved. I got these long, gangly arms, so a lot of times they're not long enough for my arms, but that is the only thing that I would change about this. All right, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Event Sports did give me a discount code to share with you. It's just my name, Shannon. I'll put that right here and in the description box down below in case you want to purchase anything you can use that code thanks again for watching this video and i will catch you next time guys